Steelers, how do you think the energy level was today compared to against Utah a couple days ago? Uh, I think it was it was different. I don't know. Maybe some players were affected by high uh, altitude, but I don't think so. We we didn't look for any any excuses, any complaints. We just the energy just wasn't there at Utah, and here we we came here to Michael with with different mindset. I could see that everyone had like angry look in their eyes, and they were they were ready. So. Your thoughts, Cedric, on that as well? I mean, we went to Utah off a high, really. Like, we went Maui. We felt like we, we were number four. We felt like we were there. Uh, reality check. Honestly, that's really what it was, and we needed it. Uh, came back, practiced hard, got really good on defense again, got back to what won us. Um, and it showed today that we are a better defensive team than what we showed at Utah. And then offensively, I mean, it happens. You just have to let it, let it flow. So. You guys feel like you were on such a roll offensively through Maui. I mean, did this game like Utah just kind of maybe ding the confidence a little bit and carry over today? Did you feel at least some of the guys? Uh, no, nah, not really. Um, you know, I mean, Zoo and Umar both played well. As far as shooting, being a shooter, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss shots. You're gonna make shots. Uh, and you have to keep shooting with confidence. We work on it every day, so just keep doing it. So you guys got in transition a lot more than you had against Utah. In an area against Utah, what do you think the main difference is between playing then and then just kind of getting back to your identity now? I don't know. I think our transition running was, was the same. I don't know. Me personally, I'm trying to run every time as fast as I can. But I don't know, like I said, maybe like our faces were stoned, like we didn't have any energy, like just no huddles, you know, for example, like everyone is kind of just just flying around somewhere else, you know, so. How's it been different for you uh, role-wise coming off the bench the last few games as opposed to starting? Uh, it's the same role. Tommy wants me to do the exact same thing I did when I started, run hard, Rebound, make my shots, make the right play, come off a ball screen, look at my look at what I do. Uh, same thing. I still play good minutes, and I can't complain about it. So this was, I think, the most bench points for the team since the second game of the year. How important is it for the guys coming off the bench, not just to to eat up minutes, but to continue to contribute? Uh, it's massive because, I mean, Zeus scored 15 points in like I think 10 minutes, or something like that. It was crazy. But you have to have somebody that can come off the bench, not just one person, but multiple guys that come off and that can keep the game at the high level that it is. There should be never be a drop off. Every last one of the guys on this team are amazing. And I think every last one of them are really good players. Why do you think bench scoring kind of dropped off there for a little bit? Um, I think it was confidence sometimes, a little bit. I think a lot of them were looking at their shot. They caught it and they were like, oh, I'm only going to be in for a little bit, so I'm just going to swing it. I'm just going to try to be perfect instead of playing basketball the way they know how to play. Um, I mean, we were in practice, and every last one of them kills sometimes. Like, I mean, like, just go at it. And we need that same energy when they're on the court, and they have to just come out there and look at their shot and be ready. Uh, Zoo, what was the difference for you that going through that when you scored the 15 points early, and especially a lot of, you know, you're getting a lot of, uh, getting inside, getting a lot of layups. Maybe at Utah sometimes it didn't quite finish like you did today. What was the difference? Yeah. Now I see it's the same. I didn't finish in Utah, and I didn't hear. Maybe, maybe just in first half, but still, like I need to, I know, lock myself in my room and and maybe try to find out how I missed those layups. You know, I'm from 18. I don't know. I never shot 18 shots, so maybe I need to just do like a, I don't know, just pass to my teammates more. But I know it doesn't feel like it feels the same. I don't know. I still miss a lot of layups. I think Tommy said something after that game about this. Maybe you need to get one in shots or get even closer and make sure it's going in. I mean, did you feel like maybe there was a couple at Utah that you weren't close enough? No, yeah, I, I just need to be more patient. I know I can, I mean, I have a dribble, but I'm just trying to score right away. But yeah, I'm working on it and I knew that uh, I need to work on it, but yeah.
How do you guys feel that the, how the defense is progressing throughout the season? What are some things you guys would like to clean up defensively? Um, the biggest thing was our gap defense. Like, if you go back and watch Utah, I think we were all facing our man. Like, there was no help. There was no talking. Um, a big thing we do is RCR, break, contest, rebound. That's massive for us. Like, that showed today. Especially the first five, six minutes, they did it amazing. Starting group was raking, contesting, and then boxing out. Um, and that's what we worked on, especially after the game, that we went right to that the whole practice. So, Courtney said his biggest adjustment was getting through screens and attacking and finding a way to get through it. What, what's been the biggest adjustment for you defensively? I would say raking. Uh, big thing for me was it would be the, getting over the ball screen and being in the help and going for a steal with two hands. Um, that's something new that I recently just kind of picked up and I'm working on it, so it's definitely a little different. But raking and then getting back to your man is a, definitely a new thing for me. So, Can you just define raking? Is it just? Um, it's where you should be. So balls left, right side, you should be in the gap, playing both, kind of sliding with the ball. The defender kind of gets there, you swipe at the ball, you should be able to either make them pick it up or steal it every time. And then get back to your man, and that's our help defense. So. You had questions for Azulis or Cedric? Um, a new hair look for you? <laughs> what went into that decision? Um, my head was itchy. <laughs> that's the best answer I can give you. I took it out, washed it. I just haven't went and got it done yet. So I'll have it done next time, though, don't worry. Have have it done for Vegas. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks.